AIs like ChatGPT are known to be incredibly powerful tools, with the ability to scrape all the information of the internet from plot leaks on some unknown site to any theory about the FNAF movie out there, it can create very credible answers. So with this potential, I simply asked it to tell me the plot of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. But of course, it wasn't that easy, and its response was way too broad. This video is how I got around this problem and got an AI to solve the FNAF movie. Now, the story it wrote in response was similar to what we see in the trailers. Mike Schmidt, New Night Guard, Old Freddy's Pizzeria, Dead Children, and Possessed Animatronics, which makes sense seeing as it's based on the same story. But this is just a plot to a FNAF movie, and isn't specific, and is not the plot we are looking for. So I decided next to include details about the movie we see in the trailers to limit what storylines it can use, which meant dissecting each scene from the trailers and writing it out so the AI could understand it. So let's go through it. Across all of them, there were 15 details that were key to the plot that we will give the AI to give it a rough outline of the story. If you want to pause to read the exact details, feel free to, but I just described everything important that happened in the trailer. With that information punched into ChatGPT, it gave a pretty plausible storyline. Mike Schmidt, a struggling single father of Abby, applies for a night shift job at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. While it used to be popular, it has been abandoned for years. On Mike's first night, he discovers the pizzeria is still intact despite being abandoned. A woman who visits during the night shift claiming to be a police officer warns Mike about the possessed animatronics trying to harm Abby, who he brought with him due to her curiosity. After this, strange occurrences, including the pizzeria starting up during the night and flashbacks, reveal the horrific past of the restaurant. Meanwhile, the animatronics and the puppet try to lure Abby toward them, thinking she can free them. Mike, along with a policewoman named Officer Reynolds, work to keep the puppet from getting hold of Abby, while they all try to survive the night, with Springtrap appearing at the end in a final fight. With the key information added, the AI did a good job forming a story with it, but it was still pretty vague and didn't relate to FNAF very much, with Springtrap just being thrown in at the end. So to make it better, I asked it to take details from the story of the games to build on the story it already had, and it worked perfectly. It gave a similar story, but it included the motives of each character. For example, Springtrap's appearance was an attempt to gather remnant from Abby. Officer Reynolds was on the original missing children's case, hence her knowledge, and the animatronics were reminded of their childhood from Abby, causing their anger. The AI goes so far as to say the movie would be based around parental love, resilience in the face of terror, and the consequences of a dark legacy that refuses to be forgotten. But there's still something wrong with this story. There are some details missing. Why has ChatGPT mentioned the puppet? I never gave it information involving the puppet, and this was before letting the AI add other parts of the FNAF story. Was that the bite of 87? Another mystery was how the story actually concluded. What happened during and after the fight against Springtrap? It was never answered. Well, we want to leave the AI to make its own decisions, so I avoided giving it any more information and just asked asked it to answer these questions, and this is where ChatGPT slowed down a bit. With these new questions, the story became very strange, with it now including Mike using a powerful and dissonant frequency that disrupted the puppet, which sounds like it came straight out the SCP Foundation. If you've used ChatGPT before, you will know it's very good at creative writing tasks, but it gets very confused by other commands. This, along with the story becoming longer with each request, became a massive problem. It started getting confused with what story it was following, making multiple timelines in the same question, or just straight up ignoring everything else and just making full stories about a tiny detail, which was a little frustrating to work with. Why Why is it talking about the puppet? I, I never asked about the puppet's boss battle. Why are there so many question marks? So after struggling with it for a while, I got it to tell a complete story with these questions answered. The final step is explaining the two scenes I felt weren't explained enough in the trailer. So I gave the AI a chance to try adding them to its story. The first is why Officer Reynolds appeared at the pizzeria the same night Mike began his shift. And secondly, who the man we see attacked by Bonnie is and why he's in the pizzeria. Actually, what did any of these adults have to do with the story, and what the AI came up with was fantastic. The adult is known as Mr. Thompson, a former employee who had worked at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza shortly before it was shut down. Seeking closure, he breaks into the pizzeria, accompanied by Susan, John, and Lisa. Wait, but there's two guys and... 
I'm not risking assuming anything here. Their names will stick. These three were childhood friends that all narrowly escaped the animatronics and returned to face their childhood demons. And as we see, this ends badly for Mr. Thompson. And as for Officer Reynolds, well, to explain that, how about instead I tell you the whole story straight from the AI. In the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, Mike Schmidt, a struggling single father, applies for a job as a night guard at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a once thriving restaurant in the 80s with a dark history. The establishment, which had been closed for years, was infamous for a series of incidents where children mysteriously went missing. However, the enigmatic owner, Mr. Jenkins, is determined to revive the pizzeria's former glory and has refused to scrap the location. Desperate for work and with limited options, Mike decides to bring his curious and adventurous daughter, Abby to his new job on his first night. As they step inside the deteriorated pizzeria, they are immediately greeted by the unsettling remnants of its heyday, the faded colour and the abandoned animatronics in the back rooms, clouded in a sense of unease. Assigned to the security office, Mike's main responsibility is to monitor the surveillance cameras throughout the pizzeria. As the night progresses, he witnesses the animatronics, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica and Foxy, awakening and exhibiting strange, aggressive behaviour after dark. It becomes apparent that the spirits of the missing children from the past have possessed these animatronics, seeking revenge on anyone who crosses their path, but Mike doesn't know this yet. One night while watching the cameras, Mike notices a figure on the cameras, an unfamiliar woman dressed as a police officer. Intrigued and wary, he grants her access to the building, assuming she has arrived to investigate the supernatural occurrences. The woman, Officer Reynolds, reveals that she was involved in the original investigation of the missing children's cases back in the 80s. She shares chilling details about the unsolved mysteries surrounding Freddy Fazbear's pizza and warns Mike that the animatronics are drawn to his daughter, Abby, as they believe she holds the key to setting them free. As Mike spends more nights at the pizzeria, he witnesses increasingly alarming paranormal phenomena. During a brief moment of rest at his desk, he's suddenly jolted awake by loud noise, only to find the entire pizzeria illuminated, lights flickering and jovial music playing as if it were in full operation during the daytime. Mike realises the animatronics are attempting to trick Abby, luring her into their clutches with a party. Determined to protect his daughter, he takes drastic measures, cutting off the power supply to the entire building. Meanwhile, in a separate part of the abandoned pizzeria, while the cameras are off, an unknown man named Mr. Thompson finds himself trapped. Mr. Thompson, a former employee, had worked at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza during its final days before closure. He returns to the decrepit establishment, haunted by memories and seeking closure. Accompanying him are three childhood friends, Susan, John, and let's just say Ben who narrowly escaped the animatronics' aggression during their childhood. Their curiosity and desire to confront their traumatic experiences drive them to explore the abandoned pizzeria. Unbeknownst to Mr. Thompson and his friends, power being reset had reactivated the withered animatronics in the back rooms and the vengeful spirits within them, one of which was Withered Bonnie. A few nights later, Mike and Officer Reynolds are navigating the pizzeria and encounter what remains of Mr. Thompson after the attack, while Mr. Thompson's friends are nowhere to be found. They realise that the spirits trapped within the animatronics are growing more aggressive as the nights progress, seeking to exact revenge on everyone they can. Throughout the film, Mike and Abby are plagued by haunting flashbacks that gradually unveil the grim fate of the missing children and the twisted events that made their souls so restless. In a climatic sequence, Abby becomes a target of Freddy, a desperate spirit reminded of their childhood days by Abby, hunting her, trying to make her like them. The instability of Freddy and the soul trapped inside are a danger to Abby. Realising the imminent danger, Mike springs into action. He frantically searches for a way to save Abby. Mike recalls the information Officer Reynolds shared about the animatronics being susceptible to sound disturbances. With that knowledge, he sets up speakers and plays the sound of children celebrating in another room to distract Freddy. With the sudden chaos, Mike has his opportunity to grab Abby and escape from Freddy through the vents. Mike and Officer Reynolds continue their investigation into the dark secrets of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. They uncover the truth behind the restaurant's founder, William Afton, who was responsible for the abductions and murders. Delving deeper into Waldorf rooms, they encounter Springtrap, an animatronic suit containing Afton's decaying body. Springtrap has become a vessel for Afton's restless spirit, driven by malice and a desire to continue murdering. In a final confrontation, Mike and Reynolds face off against Springtrap. Utilising their knowledge of the pizzeria's layout and the animatronic's weakness, they create a trap to contain Springtrap. With careful planning, they lure Springtrap into a room filled with exposed wire and malfunctioning equipment. As Springtrap lunges towards them, Mike and Reynolds trigger the electric 
electrical surge, causing a power overload to Springtrap circuitry. The animatronic convulses and malfunctions, weakened by the immense electrical shock. Taking advantage of the opportunity, Mike and Reynolds strike back. With combined efforts and careful planning, Mike and Reynolds succeed in disabling Springtrap. The animatronic suit collapses, rendering Afton's spirit powerless. The trapped souls of the children, released from their torment, dissipate into the ethereal realm, wh whatever that means, finally finding peace. And that was the entire FNAF movie plot according to ChatGPT. Some details were of course missing from this as it couldn't all be explained to the AI, but if this video gets enough support I might do a part 2. But until then, there's plenty of other FNAF content to watch on the channel if you're interested, and if you enjoyed please put it in the comments. And that's all from me, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.